What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Japanese fans and Asian fan base is extremely upset, as I saw, when this pound-for-pound -pound top 10 boxing ranking system came out for BoxRec. Now, BoxRec is not the end-all, be-all, and no means, no sense of the imagination, but it's a credible site. Everybody goes to BoxRec to find out a fighter's true stats, right? And <clears throat> BoxRec has come out with their new pound-for-pound -pound system. I mean, excuse me, their new pound-for-pound -pound list. And there's a major flaw on this list. The major flaw is, and it's no slight and disrespect to anybody, but it's the obvious. They have the Japanese superstar, first ballot future Hall of Famer, who is a multi-division world champion. <clears throat> they have this particular fighter who just created history again. He created history again. He's a four-division world champion. He is a two-division undisputed champion. He's undefeated and a knockout artist in Japanese superstar boxer, Naoi the Monster Inoue, who has 26 wins, no loss, no draw, 23 big wins by way of knockout. 30 years of age, five foot five with a 67 and a half inch arm reach. Yesterday, Monster Inoue became a two division undisputed champion after he beat Marlon Topolis. And Monster Inoue is the second male in history to become undisputed two division champion. The first one took place July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, when Terrence Bud Crawford defeated Errol the True Spence Jr. and became a two-division undisputed world champion. Now, Terrence Crawford became the second boxer overall, but the first male, the first boxer overall to do so is Clarissa T-Rex Shields, who is a three-division world champion, undisputed two-division world champion, and a two-time Olympic gold medalist. We are talking about Historic accomplishments. Terence Crawford is the first male to become undisputed at 140 and 147 to hold all four major sanction belts. He's a three division champion and he's considered the pound for pound number one king. And now this pound for pound list comes out. And Naomi Inoue, who arguably has, now he hasn't beaten the level of competition that Terence Crawford beat, but he's a four-division champion undisputed in two separate weight classes. Terrence Crawford is a three-division world champion undisputed in two separate weight classes. So you can understand the argument. But this pound-for-pound -pound list came out, and this is why this particular fighter gets so much flat. And that fighter is undefeated three-division world champion, five-time world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely acknowledged as one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing, in Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is 29 wins, no loss and no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout, 29 years of age, 5'5 five five with a 67-inch arm reach. Javante Tank Davis has done mega pay-per-view numbers, no doubt. He has broken records as far as putting butts in the seats, no doubt. He's an attraction because he's excited, no doubt. He has 27 knockouts in 29 fights. That means two of his fights went the distance. Inoue has 23 knockouts in 26 fights, which means only three of his fights went the distance. But he has taken far more risk and fought and accomplished far more than Javante Tank Davis has accomplished. Yet, on this pound-for-pound -pound list, they have Javante Tank Davis, 
ahead of Monster Inuit. Which sparked debates in the comment sections. And a lot of fans, Japanese fans and Asian fans, are saying this is due to Inuit pre predominantly fighting in Japan and because he's Asian, he's not getting the credit he deserves over Javante Tang Davis. It's a popularity contest. Monster Inoue, by far, should be ahead of Javante Tang Davis on this pound for pound list. Not only that, the list is super flawed. It has Chris Eubanks Jr. on the pound for pound list. Now, if this is not an indication that this is a buddy system, I don't know what is. How can Chris Eubanks Jr. be on anybody's top 10 pound for pound list? How is that possible? And then another guy who I have a lot of respect for, I have a lot of, you know, um, uh, 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 you know, um, support for, and that's Oshaki Forster. They have him at number 10. Then they have at number nine, Emmanuel Navarrete. They don't have Teofimo Lopez on this list. Which is utterly ridiculous, to say the least. Absolutely, utterly ridiculous. They don't have Shakur Stevenson on this list, who is a three-division champion. Official three-division champion, which is utterly ridiculous. How can you have Emmanuel Navarrete, Oshaki Foster, and Chris Eubanks Jr. over Shakur Stevenson and Teofimo Lopez? <laughs> That lets you know everything you need to know about this list to begin with, how flawed it is. Secondly, in this comparison and why people are upset, because they're not looking at the list overall and saying, and, and, and just dismissing the list and saying this list is completely fraud and completely buddy systemed. They just saw the name placement. And instantly they got upset that Tank Davis is over Naoi Inoue. And here's the reason why Tank Davis should not be over him. Naoi Inoue, I gave you his rundown, his accomplishments. Tank Davis holds two official titles at 130. Held the IBF and the WBA super titles, the, the official titles at 130. Outside of that, Javante Tank Davis has won the regular title at 135 and a regular title at 140. When he won the belt from Yuriokis Gamboa vacant WBA regular title, Vasil Lomachenko was the unified champion that held the WBA official title. So, that's flawed. When he won the 140 pound title from Mario Barrios, which was a WBA regular title. This is all true. Now, people are going to take this as hate and, oh, you're a hater. It doesn't matter. The truth will always prevail. The WBA regular title at 140, he beat Mario Barrios. Josh Taylor is the undefeated, undisputed champion. Held all four major sanction belts. Now, Tank Davis has is a knockout artist and exciting. And he's a bigger draw. But this is not, pound for pound list is not about who's the bigger draw. It's not the popularity contest. Being a bigger draw means you're more popular. That doesn't mean you're better. Let me say it to you again. Being a bigger draw doesn't equate to you being a better fighter. It just equates to you being more popular, more recognizable. That don't mean you're better. The pound for pound list is who's the best fighter in the ring and accomplishments in the ring. Javante Tank Davis broke the record, the live gate at the Barclays Center, $5 million gate. He broke the live gate at the Capital One Arena, Washington, D.C., when he fought Hector Garcia with a $5.2 million gate. And he has a 1.2 million pay-per-view buys, $23 million gate, the fifth highest gate in Las Vegas. And uh, uh, he made major money doing so. 
But look at the opponents. Hector Garcia moved up from 130 to 135 after shocking the world, an upset victory. He was an underdog against Chris Colbert. He shocked the world, beat Chris Colbert, moved up to 130, 135 to challenge Tank and got knocked out. He fought and beat Rolando Roley Romero, who hasn't fought for a world title at the time and never won a world title, and is considered um, one of the worst skill boxers in boxing. Those are who he broke the gate against. Now, Ryan Garcia has potential, a lot of potential, but again, he's never fought for a world title and he's obviously never won a world title. These are the guys he beat. Monster Inoue just beat the unified champion, two unified champions back to back. He beat Topolis, Marlon Topolis, and he beat Cool Boys Stephen Fulton, who was undefeated and the unified champion. He beat a Hall of Fame uh, iconic superstar in Nonito Donaire twice. And he's doing so as these guys are world champions, official world champions. That's why. And you can't say, well, he's less exciting because in 26 fights, he has 23 knockouts. In 29 fights, Tank has 27. So he only has one knockout less than Tank in the amount of fights that he has. And you can't say he's not popular because he's uber popular in Japan. That's why this list is flawed. But I'm here to tell the fans that this list is null and void anyway. It has Chris Eubanks Jr. at number at number eight on the pound for pound list over Tiafimo Lopez and Shakur Stevenson. Well, that tells you everything you need to know. You shouldn't be insulted, period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.